Hey everyone, Nuno here, welcome back to another episode of New Grimoire. Now, on the last episode, we did unlock milestone number two, and uh, as we saw it at the time, we had access now to education, uh, medium density housing, taxation, and increased loan limits, plus a couple of development points and a couple more expansion permits to buy map tiles. What we're going to do today is we're going to start building up our schools and I am thinking about, first of all, I want our schools to be somewhere around here and I am thinking how we're going to place it. Uh, we do have a little bit of demand, I think demand, um, residential command, demand is not growing up, in fact it's going down, why? We do not have, oh I think uh, some houses did upgrade their levels do they yeah i don't know yeah it seems like it it allows to have a little bit more um households or families i don't know <laughs> maybe uh either way what is happening right now is that we need to build this uh education because education is extremely important we do have a couple of uh eligible students in here uh, I was thinking about adding college, but I don't think college is needed. By the way, college is something we need to unlock here on the development. And it's something to think about. I have three development points that I can use. I was thinking about advanced service roads because it gives us uh, a little bit more um, abilities on the roads. A little bit like a traffic manager uh, mod on City Skylines 1. And I was also thinking about having the college and leave one point for the next uh, leveling up. Okay, so let's first of all try to build our schools. And I kind of want to build the schools maybe around here. There you go. And in fact, we could even go around this, but um, let's also upgrade the elementary school with a playground because people will want to have access to the playground. In fact, I will do some walking path through here and we could even upgrade this with the clinic but I don't know I do not want to overspend because we already are on a very high budget per se I will though add in here a couple of trees I do like these ones so I will probably add them around here a couple of them yeah that, that'll look fine Cool. Now that we have this built, um, we also need space for a... In, in fact, let me do something else before. I want to expand this slightly through here because we can. It's true, are we going to lose a little bit of... of um, <laughs> it's not just a little bit, we're going to lose a lot of... Uh, let me just turn this off. We're gonna lose a little bit and a lot of, of commercial area to build through here, but I'm fine with that. And I'm kind of... I kind of do not want to go outside because I think behind it we're gonna build something else. So we are going to just build it like that and maybe allow commercial buildings around here or something else like that. I don't know. Maybe it looks good. Maybe it doesn't. I have no idea. Either way, um, because our school demand is not very high for high school or college, college. Uh, I think we're going we're going to build one, by the way. But let me just take care of our demand for in industries. We do not have yet specialized industries, uh, but we can build up. So this is six by three, four, five, six. Let's do a six by six here for the time being. And maybe another one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, another six by six. 
we are able to have like two big industry buildings that will get us a little bit of jobs. Not much, but enough. Okay, now, I also want to build our high school. And I'm thinking, this could be a nice location high school for the high school um, but it probably requires me to change the positioning of this clinic so I will place the clinic right here next to this corner and now I'm gonna place the elementary school no I'm not <laughs> I was going to but now I cannot place it um, so interesting Still, I'm, I'm okay with having the clinic here. Just move the clinic a little bit for this positioning. Um, you know what? I do not like to see this without that walking pad. So let's just build this walking pad through here. Having like these crossings, that's fine. And are we able even to add no, we cannot add anything else other than that. Uh, it would be good to kind of make this a little bit more concrete, but that's fine. Okay. What we're going to do now is where are we going to place this elementary, this high school? The high school is a big building, plus I have like this upgrade around it that makes it even bigger. And I was thinking this location would be great. We do have this one, but I do not want to do anything yet over there. And I kind of am not sure if this is the right location to add it. But, you know what? Maybe it is, so we are going to do that. We're going to do the same thing, but now we are going to maybe start from here. And end maybe around here. We're adding a couple more crosses, but that should be fine. And we are going to build up our high school. Like that. Uh, we definitely need to increase our roads through here. And of course through here, so that parking lots can get in and out. And like I was saying, it is important that we are able to add this sports field, which we do not have room for it I mean we could so let's pause the game for a second let's first of all add this upgrade because this way we are able to do so you can add a, a, this stadium around here which is fine because we have the parking lot and all of that. Now, what we want to do is we want to continue progress through here. We may uh, even end up doing, you know what? Um, I didn't even know, I didn't even check how big this was. I mean, how, oh boy. Let me check. This is 112. Okay, so. And this is 112. Okay. So 112. And then another 112. So this way we can have a couple of grids around here. And at the same time. Why not? We can change. Just remove this so we can have it like almost in the middle like this there you go for the time being I think this kind of works and we have schools available to our city awesome now what we need to do is take care of demand now that we have added education into our city and we can check that education levels are fine I mean, we have capacity for <laughs> pretty much all of them. We have 52 students here on the elementary school and only four on the high school. 
Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. More importantly now is to add, looking at demand, we need commercial, residential, and medium residential. Um, we can build up our apartments, but I kind of want to have like these raw in here for these medium density. So let's do what we did on the last episode. So unzone this, get the raw ones, build them around here at the same time, erase these buildings and have them built through here. This should be able to take a couple of them out. Let me just also delete these houses. Uh, build this. Speed up things a little bit so we can see what we get. All right. This should be good enough to take care of some of these demand. But we also have demand for law residential houses. So we do need to keep expanding. And I'm thinking about starting to expand through this section of the city. So let's let's start building this, okay? And I think in here, what we're going to do now is we want different kind of houses. We don't want them to be too big. So we're going to start building, um, I think, two by three. Uh, in this case, two by four houses. And uh, this. Um, I may have screwed up this a little bit. So I'm sorry for that. I'm going to unzone some of it. There you go. This is quite interesting because these type of houses, they are kind of smaller and therefore maybe they will pay less rent. Maybe. We will see what happens. Um, I will definitely build up a couple more houses around here. Like I said, two by four. I just want to see what kind of houses are going to be shown through here. I'm not building anything in here because I'm kind of waiting to see if I'm going to build some kind of commercial buildings around here. Maybe I will. Smaller ones, probably. Or maybe in here is going to be perfect for when we unlock these mixed housing. Maybe. I don't know. All right, so this will take care of some of the demand. Um, and basically what we need to do now is wait for reaching the next milestone. Um, but before that, let me look here into economy and taxation. Let's look at residential taxes because here's the thing. We currently only have uh, three levels of education. We have uneducated, which are people with no education at all. Poor educated are only people or citizens with elementary school. Educated means that they have high school. So these are the kind of uh, education we currently have. And um, then we have well educated, which is college and highly educated, which is uh, university. And these guys will pay a lot more. And you can see that educated people pay a lot more on taxes. It doesn't mean we have more educated people on our city. It just means that they make more money and therefore they pay more taxes. Um, this is how we can then use education to get more money out of it. But for the time being, I think we are going to... Uh, yeah, I think we are going to raise this up to, I think, 50%. Um, I'm not sure if 50% will have any impact when it comes to high taxes. I mean, it does have, but I don't think they're going to, going to lose any of their happiness. And it may not break down our budget that much. And I guess we get more money. I think we're going to do the same thing with commercial. 
we're gonna go up to 50% on all of that. So let's let's boost up our taxes slightly and check out if there's any kind of impact on our economy. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Uh, we will see. We still have a lot of demand for commercial and a lot of demand for residential. So let me keep expanding this area and uh, speeding up and wait for the time we reach the next milestone. And here we go with our next milestone level 3 unlocked now we got a little bit more money more uh, points more tiles and bigger loan limit a little bit of service budgets that now we can control what we are spending too much a little bit of farming in here livestock and stone mining so these are um, our industries that we can build fire rescue and um, police station so um, in this case firehouse and police station and we need to build the firehouse and police station as soon as possible so that is the next step now I was in here trying to build up and continue to build up our grid and now I'm gonna stop it for just a second so that we can first of all build our firehouse um, I am thinking about building the firehouse somewhere I was thinking maybe somewhere near the industry area in here uh, I think in here we could have access to uh, basically I don't know I mean should we have it near yeah let's let's have it here so this will still give access to the entire region of course and a big focus here on industries that we may have a lot of fires over there probably Police station, on the other hand, I want it to be maybe around here. That's not a bad location in my opinion, so we're going to use it around here. So these two buildings are done. Next, we want to build our specialized industries. Now, these ones, they don't have a specific field, but the good thing about this is now I can check out where I have fertile land, wood, ore, and oil. So my map itself does have a little bit of fertile land. So this little bit in here where we have the windmill uh, or the wind wind power plant, I guess. I don't know how it's called. I'm sorry for that. Uh, the wind turbine, which by the way, we are, yeah, we are good for the time being. Uh, we also have it in here, but I'm not going to build a farm here. Makes no sense to me. Uh, and uh, the stone, I think we should build stone more closer here to the mountains where you can extract it. So I don't think I'm going to build stone for the time being, although stone is important for upgrades and of course for keeping our citizens um, with a lot more money in their pockets because they don't have to import and spend so much money on stones either way also let's look at into the services where are we spending a lot of money on services probably in police station I think I think it's gonna be fine if we go 90% on all of these for the time being and we can save a little bit of money education I'm gonna keep it 100% because we need educated uh, citizens garbage Healthcare, let's go to 90%. Everything else, I think it should be fine. I don't think it's a problem. Um, and the budget, we can see it's, it's getting there. It's getting there eventually. Okay, uh, 
so what we have to do is continue to expand i was building this so we have uh, opportunity to build more residential buildings more houses and i kind of want to build now in here smaller houses than these ones um, let me see what two by two looks like i'm just gonna build one so i can check out how they look like but i think they're too small if we go two by two but maybe it's not a bad idea if we do that because then we can do an alley in here. So we build this alley here and we can go in a two by two around here. We can go two by two also. And in here we could go maybe three by three. Maybe we can even increase these ones to have different kind of house sizes. Maybe it wouldn't be too bad of an idea. So let's kind of do this and see what kind of houses we get. So I'm, I'm just kind of playing and seeing what kind of buildings we get from here, okay? Different kind of houses in this uh, neighborhood, so we have different kind of lots. <laughs> we will see what happens through here. At the same time, we do have demand for commercial, so let's keep on adding more commercial. Okay, and I will now finish this section in here by adding um, the medium row buildings. So all of this is unzoned. Let's add these ones. Uh, I could wait for them to be empty, but I am not going to wait for that. Instead, I'm going to build up to here. There you go. We have now this entire row only with raw houses, medium houses. Um, okay, so now what we need to reach the next level is a lot of experience. I'm not sure if we're going to do that, but before finishing today's episode, because we are um, we're almost reaching the 30 minutes of recording, uh, I want to do something in here that I believe it's quite important, which is I want to build a couple of farms. And I'm thinking about building around here. And that's going to be what I'm going to do, a livestock farm. Uh, I want to build a little bit of grave, um, gravel roads, I'm sorry. So through here, I don't want to have access through here, so I'm just doing that so I can limit it, it um, even maybe for other kind of industries. But I think from starting from this point on, we can have some kind of farms. They don't need to be too big. Some of them can be quite smaller, uh, that's fine to me. And maybe this is fine. Maybe we can do fine with just this amount of farms. Uh, I will place uh, probably... Should I place one in here? Okay, I kind of don't like this here. So let's build that gravel road bit more like here in fact we can go like that and then just do a simple curve like that we can have one farm here and maybe two around here they don't need to be too big just big enough for building up what we need so in here let's try to going to here's the problem is that we have fertile land over there and it kind of I kind of don't want to go over the fertile land so yeah we can have one here we can have another one here Here we go, we do not want it to be too... There you go. Maybe we can 
can have another one here. There you go. Three farms. They seem nice. Uh, I'm going to do something else, which is I'm going to move some of these points, if I'm able to. I think I am if I go like this. There you go. Looks good to me. And this one, I think I also want to do it like that. Okay, perfect. So we have these three farms right now. Uh, even this one, I could move it, but for the time being, it can stay like that. And these three farms, um, I don't have any access to production, so I cannot see how much this will impact on the production level. Um, but we are getting a good efficiency, maybe. We will see. Let, let's have them that way. And at the same time, I kind of want to continue to expand. We need commercial buildings. We build a couple of them around here. Uh, this time I want to build, I want to build smaller commercial buildings and check out what kind of commercial buildings we get. Well, in fact, from here, what kind of commercial building we can get that are slightly bigger? I guess a four by four could do the trick. And I can see in here, these are smaller houses. They look good. Kinda. <laughs> That's fine. I like that. And we have a lot more people in these smaller houses than these ones. And we'll do the same thing with the commercial that we did here. So we're gonna have commercial buildings that are kind of smaller in here. There you go. Looks good. We still have a lot of demand for medium and I kind of want to start using these medium density apartments. Now these are going to be big ones and I think I think maybe around here should be the perfect area for that. So um, first of all I'm going to select a I don't know maybe a four by four square. Let me pause this. Let me erase these houses for the time being and let's just not zone anything else over there. So four by four and I kind of want to see what kind of apartment we're going to get in here. So this is, we're going to have 24 people in just this apartment, which is kind of okay, I guess. That's interesting. And at the same time, I know we need to expand. I know we need to continue to expand and that's what we're going to do. So before finishing this episode, I'm going to first of all expand a little bit or a lot my um, city, uh, adding more zones. Now, I'm not going to build more roads at the moment. So I'm going to just zone everything with like these smaller houses and stuff in here. So we have more houses and we can bring in more people. And at the same time, we're going to build this kind of like uh, medium apartments right now through this section. Uh, and in here, I think we're going to build other rows. So we have a row around here and we're going to have another row around here. And in the middle, probably these high apartments, maybe in the center, some kind of park uh, when we unlock it. That's kind of like the idea behind it. Um, okay, so let's do that and um, as soon as I finish this we'll see if we, if we level up to the next level.
Alright, and we have reached milestone number four. We now get one million dollars, I guess, if that's the name of the currency. We get now four development points and six more tiles. Plus, we now have access to a bigger loan limit. We can create districts. We have access to production panel. This is good. We also have access to policies and... Um, Oh, nice. We have not, we now have low rent housing, which is high density um, housing. We also have low density offices, grain farming, forestry, transportation, which means we now have taxis and buses that we can implement here in the city, which we will do, and parks. That is what we achieve when we reach the Grand Village milestone. And I am kind of happy for this milestone. Let me just uh, finish placing in here what I was going to place. So I want to place four. Uh, yeah, we can go like that. Um, we placed three high medium uh, density buildings in here. I think these ones are too big, to be honest. But they do take a lot of people in, so that's cool. So, now that I have placed this... And sorry, and just touched my um, microphone. Uh, now that this is done, I think this is a good time to just look into what we have done, what we have achieved, what we want to do next, and um, kind of wrap up this episode. So, we have been able to unlock ourselves up to level 4. Now we have definitely access to some cool features like public transportation, um, some other kind of industries we can build. Uh, maybe uh, we will look here into the production and check out what we really need to be producing. It seems to me that uh, vegetables uh, seems to be one of the most important um, right now. I don't know if I can do that for the time being. Uh, we do need wood a little bit and all these other material go goods that are important. We also have to start looking into our um, taxes situation because it will be time soon enough to start changing these ones properly. Now, I haven't looked exactly if we do need college. We kind of don't, to be honest. Uh, all the eligible elementary school people are there uh, and high school are also there. We could have like 12 uh, of our citizens in college. But that may change anytime soon. But that's kind of it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Now, on the next episode, we definitely are going to change a couple of things in here. We're going to start placing some of our high density and also offices in the in the city. We are definitely also going to build uh, public transportation, adds a little bit more parks and beautification to the city. And as you have seen it, we are still on the first square. We didn't, at least until now, I haven't seen the need to expand too much. We have been able to fix ourselves on just this small amount of um, area and um, we're not... We're not that profitable, it's true, but we are not that bad also. I think we're going to be fine soon enough. Either way, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys soon on my next episode. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.